let's help PlayStation, shall we? The Xbox One Scorpio has come to be. The specs have been revealed. We don't know anything else other than the specs, which we kind of already knew. PlayStation, let's put the brakes, pump your brakes before you get overexcited and think new hardware. Don't do it. For the fucking love of God, don't do it. The last thing you need at this point in this juncture of this fucking generation is another piece of hardware. You are not Sega. You are not Invincible. You will close shop if you even launch another piece of hardware. You had an opportunity to withhold and withdraw and actually delay the pro. You didn't take it. Lay in your bed and just deal with it. How do you make the mistake better? How? how? This is how. I'm going to help you, Sony. So what I need you to do is to listen, okay? Because as much as I give you shit, I do occasionally help you. Because as much fun as I have watching you stumble over yourself and just make a dumbass out of yourself, it is, you know, in my interest to make your misery last as long as possible. So here's how we fix this. One. You're not going to be the strongest piece of hardware on the market, ever, okay? Not this generation, that's for damn sure. So, what do you do? Well, you come to terms with that and just kind of go, okay. Because Nintendo hasn't been the strongest since, fuck, what, Super Nintendo? And they could give a fuck less. So you adopt the Nintendo way of giving a fuck about whether or not they have the strongest piece of equipment on the market. You just don't care. So if you don't care how strong your hardware is, what do you care about? Well, PlayStation, you should care about the reason people buy your fucking hardware. And that would be the games. Yes, the games. This is the point in time in Sony's generation where it is now time for you, Sony, to own up to the fact that you have made mistakes this generation and say, fuck it. Those mistakes happen. We released the PS4 Pro underpowered. We didn't delay it when all we've done is delay every piece of software we've ever released we could have delayed the hardware and made it better but we didn't we've released hardware that nobody wanted like the ps4 slim we've released psvr and got hardly anything on it and the only thing that ever sold which was the ps4 base model so what do you do you own those you own them you own it and go, fuck it, they happen. So, how do we fix it? Well, PS4 Pro, for example. You do the same thing with the PS4 Pro that you did with the PS3. You release consistent updates, which is something you've been doing. Which is a good thing, because, fuck, if you haven't, trust me, everybody would be talking about what a piece of shit it is, and, well, while it is... They would be hammering you even more for releasing this piece of shit, okay? So, good on you for releasing the updates for shit that it should have been doing out of the fucking box. But that aside, <clears throat> you constantly update the son of a bitch, okay? Now, what else can you do? Well, let's look at the games. You start going heavy. You start really making an effort for the game library to expand more, okay? Like how Xbox is with the 360 games coming over to the Xbox One. 
how else you start getting really fucking aggressive with the PS4 games that can play on the uh, PS4 Pro and actually show the difference when you play them on the PS4 Pro? How about you start doing that as in helping the fucking thing? Okay? That's how you can do some fucking good. Alright? Um... E3, you need to bring all your heavy hitters to the stage. And I don't mean indie titles. I know indies were your safe haven this generation. It is time for the indie titles to take a back seat. It's time. They have to take a back seat. I know it's scary, but you did it to yourself, Sony. It is time. For fuck's sakes. Let them sons of bitches take a back seat. It is time for you, Sony, in 2017 at E3, to come with your heavy hitters. Bring the big guns, the bazookas, the fucking C4, everything that'll make some fucking noise and tear the roof off the son of a bitch. Final Fantasy VII release date. Kingdom Hearts Three release date. And I don't mean release date maybe I mean set in stone release dates understand God of War 4 heavy hitting triple A titles days gone the games everybody wants to play you bring them all you understand me <laughs> this is how oh Scorpio was revealed who gives a fuck who cares you bring your big guns. You bring the shit that makes the most powerful console this generation seem like a child's toy. That's how you fucking get your shit back. You get your balls back. Okay, because being indie friendly, playing it safe, is no longer an option. Pardon me. It's now time... For you to step up to the plate. You bring the heavy hitters. You not only bring the heavy hitters. You own VR. You bring VR to the table. In a way that you haven't done since it's fucking launch. And it's time you actually push the son of a bitch. You understand? Otherwise. Scorpio's problem. It's a fucking problem. Because you just might as well cut your balls off. You might as well fucking cut your balls off. Because you got two options. Two. You bring the games or you go out. It's your only two options. What money do you have left to fuck with? All the money you made from the base model PS4, you've already fucking wasted on VR... The pro, that fucking slim, is right there. There's three fucking things. And they haven't really made any money. They haven't really sold worth the fuck. What money do you have to honestly build another fucking rig? None. So, you come with the software. You build with the software. And like I said, you own the Pro. You make the Pro what it should have already been. And you run with it. And you just have to keep running with it. I know you wanted the PS4 Slim to be the base model PS4 since you launched it. Fuck it. It's now the Pro. There is no more base model PS4. It's PS4 Pro. There's... Fuck that Slim. It's PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro is what you start pushing, and you own that shit. There is no more PS4 Slim. There is no more PS4 base model like what everybody went out and bought. It's PS4 Pro. That's what you run with. And you own that shit. And you put out all the updates to bring it up to the shit you promised when you announced the shit a year ago. And you run with it. And you bring it up to speed. And you get, like I said, all 
the games you aggressively bring everything up to the pro level showing everybody the pro can do what you promised because I'm telling you if you try to bring out another piece of hardware you're going Sega up you're going out I'm telling you that right now everybody can talk about no they got mega money they don't they're going out and it'll be due to the fact they want to be hardware they're going out I'm telling you right now they're going out so either you come with the big guns and the games and you push the shit out of VR and you start supporting it in the way it should have been supported this whole fucking time or you just vanish one of the two because there's no reason for another piece of hardware there's no reason I don't care how powerful Scorpio is power isn't everything PS2 is not the most powerful gaming console at the time and it won that generation the Wii was not the most powerful console of that generation and it sold the most in that generation it won that generation sales wise I don't care about the whole oh well it was nobody's console choice no but it won sales wise I'll say it again it won sales wise okay the 360 was not the most powerful gener in that generation, and it won uh, choice-wise. So, I mean, if you want to go off that, 360 won over everybody on choice, and it wasn't the most powerful. You feel me? The weakest wins always. Unless, again, we're talking about this past one with the Nintendo Wii U, which, that's just... I'm telling you right now, don't focus on power focus on the games that's what has you right now but if you lose focus of that and you go off of power you're gonna lose and right now you kind of are anyway because when you actually go and you shuffle out all the bullshit you don't have a whole lot you really don't you are built up of majority ports and definitive editions and the shit that's exclusive to this generation is not as many as you would think just throwing that out there because it's actually true. Go look it up if you don't believe me. So, yeah, think about that. Deuces.